wheels are going round. And something I'd speculated appears to be so. So I have to now go back to the original thinking track. So it's like, <laughs> okay, back to the original thinking track. So, <clears throat> that Iggy. I got a text message last night, three o'clock in the morning. I've just, gone to, I've just got to sleep. Text message. And it said, you were right. And then this video left up. The war room. Someone's been away and collated some information about Iggy. And I'm like, Okay, so I was right all along, and it's a matter of what, John, it's like, uh, yeah, it's like, um, there is no Andrew Tate, there's a Hydra, it's like, um, right, Andrew Tate is like a mind fuck, that's something that I'm particularly good at too, it's like if you were a really, really, really sophisticated schemer, you would actually find yourself a shill like Andrew Tate, because he's a fucking nightmare and fuck knows what he's getting up to the fact that he's able to be brazen out front the way that he's been and be the just mind fuck the words he speaks are not his are they they're somebody else's they, they suddenly started to form around a certain time and it's like what a fantastic fucking piece of jail cover he is what a, what an amazing building block he could be seen to be but what use is he it's like he's neither use nor fucking ornament he's a liability where's the best place for him in jail I'd say why because when he gets to talking he's going to spill the beans uh, uh, on everybody He's going to cry his eyes out and he's going to blab and he's going to fill the world with an orgy of bullshit. Half truth. Half bullshit. And well, all that crap's going on, you know, that the architect of the, the plot inherits the muscle. Inherits the network. Inherits that group of internet activists who can, who can really get things done. Who were able to game the system all the way to the top. Inherits that. I'm getting to thinking that Mr. Tate is a pawn or just sent in as just a barmy. It's like, yeah, fucking deal with this. I saw it myself and I was like, that's why I was like, oh, I'm not saying nothing about this guy for a bit. As he was getting big, it's like, well, everyone's going to want to ride this pony, aren't they, on the way up? It's like, but who's his driver? And I think they've got a larger goal than Matate. And I think whatever they've got in store is not going to be good. It's like those who they could consider, who they've kind of recruited under the banner, they can't control them. They've brought all the dicks to one place. They've brought all the people who are like-minded, who think that way, who've actually improved their game. There's a gift you can give to monsters to turn them into super monsters, and that's the gift of knowledge. You can turn a basic broken thing into a dangerous thing, or even a great thing, depending on what you teach them. The gift of knowledge unleashes chaos. So like the real delusion is people who set about things like that is thinking that they can control those who might profess to be in one's movement or under one's control. That's always the way the pimp comes unstuck. The pimp comes unstuck when lady starts to speak of being roughly treated and people turn up to fucking hang you. It's the way it works. It's 
So my thing is like, all these people who've been in their way radicalized, given this new new set of tools, this new set of ruthless tools. They're not going away. They're not going anywhere. They've all been Judas goated into the Tate army or the mob. In spirit, in its spirit, affiliated to every fucking opportunist thief in the fucking Western world. So we are not the um, we are not the audience. He's after the waifs and strays, isn't he? The wet were. The waifs and the strays. And there are many people such as himself, a fucking stray. Played it like the Pied Piper. At the end of the day, if you're going to play tricks like that, only the wet were is available. You're not going to get anyone else to your cause other than those who fear you. And will submit. Watch the Paul Joseph Watson video. And he's defending the take guy. And I'm like, you're afraid of your audience now, are you? Now you're afraid. You're afraid of your audience. And then you, you make your video and the comments are like oh well done 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 and then as time passes it's like are you for fucking real like what like suddenly the rules have changed because you have to be seen to be doing your part to keep this in the headlines to keep it trending they need it to keep going they need to try and build up some momentum and the momentum has kind of momentarily stalled and then that clever fellow who's made that video there's a video out there called um, it's really good he's, he's bang on the money as far as I'm concerned this is what I, he, he says what I have suspected for a very long time and this this video is called by a guy called Vitamin D. You'll find it. Vitamin D, Andrew Tate. It's like Andrew Tate's cult. I'm looking at the wrong video here. It's one sec. What's it called? Fucked up here, haven't I? Investigating Andrew Tate's War Room Network is the video. <clears throat> and it's like, right. These guys, as they operate re-victimize people and frighten them all the time to keep people in check to keep people in line and this part of doing that is for them to create the illusion of this network they tell that story they like to project that they want people to believe that they like well they know how to do it they want to make 300 men seem like 3 million it's part of what they're doing. It's part of what they want to do. To hide their actual true numbers. To hide a load of fucking assholes in a real big crowd of people. <laughs> this guy's video is absolutely brilliant at creating the illusion that that is indeed so. Probably is, but it's like creating the illusion of it does it a favour as well it, 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 it then re-victimises those who might stand against it as to say you know these people could bring idiots to your door they claim they can they've said so before I say who is this guy tell the war room find out who this guy is and the next thing you know it's like bang yeah we know where his parents live Right, get hold of someone lives around there. Right, do you know so-and-so? Yeah, it's like, do you know this street? Yeah. It's like, you've got that capability? And it's like, well, fucking Uber Eats can do it. How about Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap can do it? 
it's not beyond the realm's possibility so there are those who are frightened of whatever that network is whatever it wants to call itself but it's it's basically a, a hybrid of phones <laughs> uh, online banking bitcoin these wallets of money that's not the taxman can't see this criminal enterprise of bitcoiners i asked the question once will will killers turn up at your front door for bitcoin and <clears throat> The answer is, I think yes now. I think yes, they will. I think you can pay a fucking lunatic round here two or three hundred quid to set my fucking house on fire. I think there's a marketplace for it. I think there's always been a marketplace for it. And it's a matter of... It seems these fellas operate on all the fucking levels... that the politicians never speak of, that there's no legislation towards. They work on every level. Just like um, there's a, a, a criminal network, or it's like these guys have managed to, in some ways, recruit all the new talent. It's... Right, it's what is seen as the danger of you ever attempting like a right wing uprising. The or the fascists would join. Every cunt in the country would just join. That's why left wing authoritarian or left wing domination, that's a problem as well because all the cunts join that side and just flip the tactics. Wherever there's a vacuum, all the cunts join. They have taken what would be called, I call, a revolutionary turf, spiritual turf, war turf, you know, fight turf. They've taken it. They've taken control of that imaginary space because nobody put up a fight against them. No one at all. No one even thought that might be a thing as to we need to protect people's minds from psychosexual suggestion. All that kind of thing. It's like they're good. It's like Tate himself is good linguistically. He's good with his mouth. He can run 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 his mouth. But there's somebody else who's doing the thinking and there's somebody else who's all in that universe or matrix together and it ain't him, it's Ziggy. I think he's magician, does that job. And I think that... I know think that takes a part and he's been sent in there as what is the biggest piece of shit to hold you could give the state in prison? Maybe Tate. I had an opinion of that guy six months ago that was something like feed him to the media because the media can't swallow that. They can't chew it and they can't digest it. Let him poison them. Give, feed them something that they can't digest. I actively contributed to feeding Tate to the machine. And all it appears to have done is wasted a lot of time. Like there's a criminal conspiracy, a criminal network. People have got smart internets, given them access to all the knowledge of human history. Not just gangster movies that did it either. You've got to create, you've got to create, you know, grace for that machine, and society does that. If you look at what it does to little girls with the propaganda, look, just have a look what it does to the little boys and what they do when they rebel.
you see, Tate isn't a leader, but whoever's whoever's backing, whoever's behind him certainly is. I think Iggy's a dangerous person. I think Iggy's a dangerous person that no one's ever fucking heard of. And I also think that that organisation, when you, you see how <sighs> articulate it's been in spreading chaos. Articulate in spreading chaos. Organised. Would suggest to me that there's some kind of doom vault of blackmail information in the possession of said cultists. <coughs> <coughs> I think they've got the goods on a lot of people, whether it be true or false. They've got enough dirt to muddy the water from here to fucking America. Just saying. I think there's ways and means of actually switching this off and getting this stopped, but the only person who can stop whatever these fucking idiots have got lined up to do next because Tate getting arrested has to have been part of the plan because they were just asking for it. They provoked it. <coughs> provoked a nation to come after them. You can either say, well, that's stupid pimp thinking. It might be by one guy, but maybe not by the other. You make it part of his plan. So he, whatever the operation has now become, or whatever it morphs into, or whatever it into, the power over it now passes to the wizard while well, there's a great big smoke screen out in the world of this fucking idiot in prison who is as far as I'm concerned he'd be on the edge of fucking spilling his guts about everything so what are they planning next they've got the will to do Fuck shit, it's, they've shown it. They've got, you know, they don't care about other people. They see other people as, you know, just potential pawns, people they can throw under the bus for one reason or another. So what have they got in store next? It's like, people need to come together and be realistic about this and see about stopping it. Stopping it, exposing it. People need to stop being afraid and say what they fucking know. So it's some kind of fight club thing where they've set bombs in places. We don't fucking know what's going on with these guys. All that is clear to me is that all the fucking crackpot talent in the world has been drawn to them. People capable of fucked up things. They found a new club to join, a new boys club, because there wasn't one before. So they made one themselves. Many have tried that in the past, in the internet era. Many have tried to create a boys club. I think everyone's had a go at it. Everyone's tried. But to unite them the way that he has you would only ever attract the worst of the worst anyway. You'd get the worst of the worst by default and then drag other people into their shit. So is there to be done. You know, uh, attract all the lunatics, rapists and criminals and murderers all in the same place and make a brute squad. gets done there's people think about it there's people who enjoy that kind of thing <laughs> all under the same banner with the same excuse don't get me wrong there's a lot of fucking anger out in the world it ain't, it ain't a pretty place and for people thinking they can control it having nurtured it well they're the biggest fools in the world they can't control that Thinking they can is why they've done it. They want real life muscle, they want power. 
That's why you don't really talk fast and loose about Tommy Robinson, someone who's never fucking met the guy, who likes the idea of him, will come swinging at you. Can you hear? It's like, there's a problem on the horizon, there's coal. And it's like digging it out is going to be God knows what. What kind of task? It's like, who's pulling the levers of these people? It's like, well, um, the guy might be in solitary, but his, uh, his Twitter account is bang, 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 bang. It's like, who's controlling his Twitter account? The guy's always controlled his Twitter account. It's as if he's not gone. It's seamless. Because he never controlled it in the first place, unless he did. He's wrecked, telling the world how great he is. you got the puppet out front, a shill. The world's greatest ever shit source of and shit shield out front. He's called Andrew Tate. He's a fucking liability. But he's my liability. Yeah, world, eat that sack of shit. Only way it stops is if he rats on everyone. He should. The person who's actually got the keys now is the Tate to just rat on everyone. You should. Why? Well, otherwise, the guy's left in control. He's capable of a lot of things, I'd say. Anything I'd be capable of, he'd be capable of. What, John? Well, yeah. I think in terms of numbers and muscle. It's like, what would you have those guys doing? What do you fancy? How about we use the uh, non-violent direct action? Walk like Extinction Rebellion did. Exactly like Extinction Rebellion did. But when we do it, they'll kick the fucking shit out of us. But we won't be there, will we? Get smart, get real. You don't need stratagem, fucking genius thinking, brains firing like magical thinking magicians with tools that they can set in motion in imaginary schemes and strategies. You, no, no, we don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that. It's like, in the past, he might have, okay, it's like, these guys might have gotten far, as far in the philosophy as to where, you know, groups that are um, like Islamic jihadis of the past. Why they've succeeded is because their leaders were fucking ridiculously stupid and corrupt themselves. And if they'd have taken more decisive action, they could have caused a hell of a lot more chaos than they did. So they kind of sold out. It's like, yeah, when push comes to shove, they did. They could have done a lot more, couldn't they? Well, we won't make that mistake. We'll be brutal. Aren't you a war room? They're a mastermind. They might have... Just put it, right, guys who think and talk like I do, who can think in, and talk in dark ways and will pragmatically talk about, like, people die. What if we've got ten of them bouncing off each other in their imagination simulating every outcome and they are not those fucking pimps out front on camera. Those are just the pimps out front. What is this fucking war room he's created? How dangerous is that? We've got a database of all the fucking idiots in your neighbourhood. How about that? And they think we're brilliant, so we can get on the phone like fucking Frank Sinatra and say, shut that movie down. 